Hi, I'm Jason Madden with Mad Tunes Racing, and I am going to demonstrate how to install a piston in a LS block. This is going to be a 404 stroker motor, and it's going to uh, lift the tires quite nicely on my Trans Am. Uh, let me show you where we're at. Uh, at this point, we've cleaned the cylinder and oiled it and installed the bearings on the rods, and we put uh, assembly lube on the bearings. Now, the bearings are orientated correctly. There's an upper and lower bearing. The upper is going to go in, on the rod side and the lower is going to go on the cap side. And we've installed the rings prior to the video and we've clocked them with their gaps offsetting over the wrist pins. So we have the second ring gap here and the first top ring gap here. There's a groove lock spacer and then there's the oil ring assembly. If everything's ready to go, we're going to use this nice ring compressor. This ring compressor has a bottom to it. It's, you have to install the piston in it according to the label. The bottom's pointing down there. And we're just going to get this on. I've also oiled, cleaned, proper, cleaned meticulously and oiled the ring squeezer tool to aid in sliding the piston down into the cylinder. You're going to want to be careful and slow about this and then get as much as you can on it without forcing it. You may have to wiggle the piston a little bit to get the rings all properly seated down in the grooves. And I'm going to carefully slide the rod down into the cylinder. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to show you uh, this black line is orientating the numbers that are on this uh, to the outside. There's the little numbers stamped on the rod. They go to the outside of the block. And the forward arrow it's going to be pointing toward the front of the engine, and the valve reliefs are toward the top of the motor. So you have to have all of that correct. If not, you're going to be pulling it back out or damaging something. We're going to carefully slide this down in here. I can just hear the roar of this 404 in my head already. Just a few days away from getting it together. Now I'm going to take my rubber hammer. Make sure that the squeezer tool is nice against the face. I'll reach my hand under and guide the rod. Just carefully, easily bump it down in. If you feel any resistance, you want to back off and check to see that your rings are going down in the block don't want to try to force anything because you will snap a ring and have a major meltdown. Looks like we got her. And that's all it is to getting the piston down in the board. We're going to flip the block over and show the torque down procedure in just a second. By the way, these are Wiseco pistons, Eagle rods, and an Eagle stroker crank assembly.
basically flip the engine, lock it down, and we've got our bearing cap ready to go on. may have to rotate the engine a little bit to get your cap in place. And there we go. Again, we've got our Sharpie mark to remind us where the lines, the lines go together, where the numbers are pointing out toward the edge of the block. Assembly lube here for the bolts that are going to go, the ARP bolts that are going to go in those holes. And we have lube on the thread as well. We're going to torque these down to 63 foot-pounds. First I'm going to ease them up with this electric gun to see that it seats properly. And we're ready to torque them down. Using a clicker style torque wrench. Alternately go back and forth as you're, as you're getting your torque. There's my little mad tuner over there. He's trying to help out. And we're almost finished. We gotta wait for the click. There's one. And there's the other. And that's all she wrote. Tune in for some more episodes.